Okay, so here's the situation. You've got a bit of money in your pocket. You fancy a Range Rover, but you don't want your neighbour's Range Rover because everyone has your neighbour's Range Rover. And of course, there'd be nothing for him to be jealous of. What you want is something that comes specially ordered from SVO, Special Vehicle Operations. And that is exactly what this is. This is Range Rover's latest and greatest, the SV Autobiography Dynamic. Whilst its name might not slip off of the tongue, it's a very simple principle. You take the very best Range Rover money can buy and make it even better. In the ingredients are things such as a supercharged 5 litre V8 engine, naturally, producing 542 brake horsepower and an earth shattering 680 newton metres of torque. And that goes something like this. Crikey, considering this thing weighs 2,457 kilograms, it can really shift. And to put that into figures, that's 0 to 60 miles an hour in just 5.1 seconds and onto a top speed of 155 miles per hour. This thing really packs a punch. Obviously, bringing all of that fun under control are a sizable set of Brembo brakes. The car gets new vents, grills, bumper, and a re-sculpted bonnet. This silver and black combination of our test car has something really sinister about it. Slightly mafia-esque, it has to be said. It's very empowering to look at. It's empowering to drive, certainly, with that amount of horsepower under the bonnet. But visually, it really makes this big statement. I have a Range Rover. What about you? Whilst what's under the bonnet is a little bit boisterous, the cabin is far from it. It's a lavishly appointed environment that you can sit and waft and cruise and just let the whole world pass by you. Occupants get these large leather quilted captain's chairs, for want of a better word, as you sit aloft with your high driving position. You're just surrounded by extremely high quality materials, beautiful leather, intricate stitching and tastefully architectural design. The centre console receives the latest in-control touchscreen infotainment system. It has this lovely wide display, gives you a very good peripheral vision of what's around you. It's nice and responsive. It's actually one of the best systems we've seen in a Range Rover. In the rear, it's three abreast, and each one of those seats will happily take an adult with loads of leg room and plenty of headroom. There's a nice flat floor there too. And of course, you'll find other toys such as TVs for rear occupants. Now this coming from special vehicle operations means that you can tailor the car to your exact desire. This car, whilst rather sensibly specced, has some racy red anodized aluminium paddles here. The boot retains that split folding tailgate that we know and love and offers up 909 litres of boot space, but if you fold the rear seats flat that grows to 2,030 litres. And whilst that supercharged V8 is mighty impressive, unless you're really pushing on it, very rarely makes itself known to occupants. Gear changes are taken care of by an excellent eight-speed automatic transmission. The changes are just absolutely seamless and very fast whenever you decide to take manual control of them. Now, aside from Range Rover levels of refinement, this car does, of course, have dynamic in its name. So where does that come into play? Well, this car features hydraulic anti-roll control, which, despite the car's size, helps battle against body roll. And I have to say it works really well. Even when driven quickly, this car feels composed and perfectly capable of dispensing all of that performance that it has on tap. There's loads of grip, and of course, with all-wheel drive, you get that sense of security in all weathers. Speaking of all-wheel drive, this being a Range Rover, it means it can climb the highest mountain, ford the deepest rivers of its class, and uh, generally just go wherever it damn well pleases. That all comes thanks to the very intelligent terrain response. Range Rover claim that this car emits 299 grams per kilometre of CO2, and achieve 22 mpg combined. Starting at £132,800, the Range Rover SV Autobiography Dynamic is certainly pricey, but maybe that's a small price to pay for arguably the most complete Range Rover there's ever been. Thanks very much for watching, and let us know what you think in the comments below. Please subscribe for all of the latest and greatest cars to hit the road. For breaking news and written reviews, visit www.insidelane.co.uk.